guys. guys! Today we are testing out some, it's not new makeup, but it's new makeup to us. Um, actually, my little sister um, found that Kenzie Ziegler has makeup. So, yeah, like when she told us that, like, she was like, oh, I have a video idea for you. Like, Kenzie has makeup apparently. Y'all should try it out. So, we're trying it out. Yeah, here we are. We're going to try it out. We ordered um, quite a bit. Um, I did open up the box um, to see if, like, everything was in here and everything was. She has not seen any seen of it. Anything. So, I figured I would kind of show her what everything looks like. Um, we've obviously, like, seen what it looks like on the website, right. but it's different holding it in your hand and everything. Um, so first, one thing that I was like, we have to get at least one of those, it was oh, like yeah. the cutest thing, was actually this. I know, it looks like a little notebook. This is the um, Love Kenzie Take Notes Daydreamer. It's an eyeshadow face palette type thing. It is so and it's cute. it's literally adorable. It's like, it really is just like a little notebook. Look at that. Like Look how, how freaking cute. Finder thing over there. I just absolutely love it. So here it is out of the package. It's, it's so kind of holographic. Cute. Like, that I is know. seriously the, like and some of the cutest packaging I've Open ever it seen. up and there is the makeup. Oh my gosh, that's that adorable. is adorable. I absolutely love this. Yeah, that's like it's so cute. Obviously, since she is kind of uh, younger, if you don't know who. Kenzie Ziegler is, um, I'm pretty sure she was on Dance Moms or her sister was, um, and so they kind of became famous through that, um, and she, since she is younger, she has a younger audience, and so I can see how that would look super cute in your backpack yes. to kind of take to school and like touch up throughout the day, or, I love you know, that is so cute, honestly adorable. Okay, so another thing that we got was actually i think this was like leftover from her like holiday um but this was all six shades of her like liquid eyeshadows um it's slide on glitter liquid eyeshadow um it was a lot cheaper to do yes. this than to I get think all it was six like of this 15 dollars a piece yeah. and, and wasn't it like 40 dollars like 40 dollars yeah for so, six of them it was a lot cheaper yeah. to do this. We're going to go ahead and swatch them all for you later on in the video, but I'm going to go ahead and open one of them so we can see the packaging and everything. Um, but again, holographic. It is so super cute. cute. Like, she does have some cute packaging. I'll, I'll give her that. So this one is in the shade Glitter Gold. Ooh, oh, that is really that's, pretty. I expected it to really be like gold gold, but that's, that's it's really pretty a, though. Yeah, it's that kind of stunning. Color. Yeah. All right, next, let's go ahead and get this out. Okay, so this is the Super Gloss, Sheen Clean Super Gloss um, in the shade, I think it was like Lolo. I remembered um, there was two names that were like familiar and we ended up going with Lolo. Um, if you watched uh, this past season of Big Brother, Cele like Celebrity Big Brother, there was somebody named Lolo on there. Um, yes. So that's kind of like a- She was actually- Olympian. Yeah. So. And there's the shade. And how pretty it kind of it's not as pretty as I remember it being no. like online. I so. tried, I'm like I'm seeing like bubblegum vibes. Yeah. With kind this of. color. Yeah. So. Alright, so the very last thing, this was the newest item that she has. Um it is her glitter goals brush set. So I thought this was really cool that she has a little brush set. It's super cute it packaging. Is. I love this little bag. Like this is adorable. Like and it's glittery. Really, really glittery. Like oh my gosh. Glitter so it's like overload. Pink with like kind of gold. peachy gold. Yeah. It is very peachy. There are five brushes. So we're gonna take them out and feel how soft they are. Um, you know, if you watch our videos, you know we, we love, love brushes. brushes. These brushes are super oh my cute. Goodness, they are and I can, like see how this would like really sell for some like younger girls. It's got okay, so they're glitter in it. They are pretty soft. Um I was just I was just like admiring all the glitter. I know it's really cool. They are soft. Oh my goodness. They're not the softest brushes no, that but we've they like are ever felt. Pretty, pretty soft. Yeah. I love these. One of my favorite colors is pink. And I'm all about the sparkle. Like, I'm... 
Yeah, it, <laughs> like, this is sparkle. so cute. Like, imagine Adorable. being, like, imagine your 14, 15-year-old self, like, using these. Oh, my like, gosh. I would feel, this I would would be, feel so cool. Oh, yeah. Like, come yeah. on. And me, I mean, that many years ago, <laughs> that would have been, yeah. like, that would have been so awesome. Brushes really weren't a thing when I was growing up. Like, really, really? and truthfully. I remember, um, I mean, they well, were, but, like, nobody used them. Like, everybody yeah. used their hands to put their foundation I, on. Yeah, okay, I can and, see that. Um, I mean, even whenever I started doing makeup, like, I used my hands for my foundation because that's, like, how you taught me to do it. Um, so I mean, then, like, whenever I, you know, found out about YouTube and I saw, like, beauty blenders and brushes and all that, I'm like, what? I need all of this. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I have been doing it wrong, apparently. But, um, yeah, these are, like, super soft. They are. They are. I'm right. in love with those. So, before we test everything out, we want to make sure that if you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. And go ahead and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we upload. While you're there, go ahead and hit that like button. And let's try to get the likes up to 40. 40. That's a good number. Okay, I, guys. I like that. So, we're going to go ahead and use this blushing right here and try that out. And we're each using one of the brushes. Yeah, I think that... that this one is obviously like the cheek brush. Uh, this one's more of like a powder brush, but just to test it out, I've already powdered my face and bronzer, like all that. Um, so I'm gonna use it for blush, just to kind of get the feel. See how soft yeah, it is. Yeah. See. Oh. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that feels so soft. That's actually a really, like, really pretty like flush of color it is like I love that color that's like super flattering actually it is like I, I can like see that. how I can see how this would work like and you can actually build it up because I had I, I've built it up just a little bit yeah I could definitely see how this would work with like many different skin tones too oh, though, yeah. which is great and the brush is really nice like obviously this isn't like a blush brush right. but it is a really nice brush I mean, it's all, it's actually doing pretty good for blush. Like, it just kind of fits the apples, like, really well. So, it's actually really nice. So far, so good. So far, so good. Hmm. I honestly, I was kind of, like, skeptical. I was kind of like, uh, This is going to be kids makeup. Yeah, like, that's kind of what I thought. Because I was like, okay, well, she's just kind of like, she's just a teenager. Like, she's running a comp, like, not, she's probably obviously not running the company, but you know, her name is on this company, I'm sure it's not really, like, it's branded to children, it's not really right. that great, um, but so far, like, so I'm far pretty it's, impressed. I am too. All right, so next we're going to go in with some highlights, so we're going to go in with the shade Fanciful, Fanciful, I don't know, it's an interesting name. It is. And I'm actually going to use the, like, highlighting brush that Ooh. it came with. Ooh. Does it look really blind? Well... Either the brush isn't good or the highlight isn't good. I got it, like, right off. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing it. Look at that. It. I'm definitely seeing it. That's actually... Ooh. What the heck? I love I'm it. I'm, like, super shocked. I, I really am... I'm impressed. I am, too. This is crazy. Like, what the heck? I don't normally use fan brushes, so like that's weird for me. Um, fan brushes just are not my go-to. Um, this one's not bad. I mean, it's they're to me they're just like really flimsy and like yeah they are harder to use. They're not, to me. Yeah, they're not very user friendly. So look at that shine. Man. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm loving this. This is really good so far. All right, so next we're going to go to eyes. So this, since this is basically all the eyeshadow that we have except for the um, liquid eyeshadow, we're gonna go ahead and use these colors. Um, I'm gonna go in with, of course, the light shade to kind of cover my whole eye. And I'm actually gonna go, go ahead and go in with the shade Mocha. And I'm just gonna use it in the crease. Um... And I'm actually using the crease brush that came in the brush set. 
I'm actually not sure about this. I'm gonna go ahead and use mocha and do kind of above the crease and in the outer corner. I'm not sure if it's the brush or the actual shadow, but it's just not my favorite shadow. I'm using my favorite Lexi brush that I use every single day. And it is going on just a little bit patchy and I'm having to blend it out a little bit more than I usually do. Um, it's a pretty color. Yeah, it is pretty patchy. Like I will say, like I don't, but I'm used to using, well, I started to say I'm used to using Laura Lee and Jeffree Star. But, no, I have, like, one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes is a Wet n Wild palette. So, I mean, I think I've got it blended pretty nicely now, but it did take, it did take a minute. Okay, so I'm actually going to go in with the shade Mystic, which is just a little bit darker. And I'm going to kind of darken up or try to darken up my crease and see how that goes. I'm just not not loving the eyeshadows like i think we started off really strong with like the blush and the highlight like those were both really pretty um and now it's like getting to like some disappointing yeah i'm just having to work shadows a little bit too hard for that good blended look i'm gonna go ahead and deepen up the outer corner as well So one thing that I will say about the whole palette is the setup is really, really pretty, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I just, the blush is good. The highlight is good, but so far, like the, the mattes are not that good. I'm going to go ahead and swatch the shimmer. That looks really pretty. Okay. I think the shimmer would, Ooh. That, like that's really pretty. I am gonna use the shimmer on my uh, brow bone okay. and see how that looks. My overall so far, and we're not finished with the look, we've still no. got to use the um, the liquid eyeshadows, but so far, like the browns, the deeper colors, they're just harder to blend. They're just harder the to get. The colors are really pretty The though. colors are beautiful. And it's it just, just sucks that they're not that great quality um because I, I will say that the prices of these they're not, not quite like high end but, but they're, they're not, not quite drugstore drug either. either so, so. <laughs> i don't know i'm just like i'm a little torn because I half know. of the palette is good but the other half is like not that great i'm gonna go ahead and try this on the brow bone and see I'm gonna actually look. Okay, now that's really nice. I'm gonna go in like inner corner. Yeah, okay, so the. I think it's the just shimmer, the darker shades that it just. The darker They mats, go on yeah. patchy and then it's. It takes up. They do blend out, but it takes a lot of working yeah, to get I think, to blend I out. I think that she could quite possibly work on her matte formula a little more. And then I'll think that she's got yeah. it. All right, so I went ahead and swatched all six of the um, liquid eyeshadows and here they are. They swatched really pretty. They, some of them better, better than, than others. others. Um, I will say that the lighter ones, um, so there was Pixie Pink. Pixie Pink. Do you remember them all? No. <laughs> Solar Eyes, Electric, Electric. Nebula, um, this one is Fairy Dust, and then the Glitter Gold. Um, so out of, I'd say that the best one for like by far, the best one that swatched was the shade Electric, which is this one right mm -hmm. here. Um, and then maybe second best was Solar Eyes. 
Um, but beyond that, the Nebula one, the blue one, just didn't swatch that great in my opinion. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to do these sometimes, and I actually brought down some others that I think are really good. Um, these are from Shop Miss A, and they're a dollar. <laughs> Um, and then this one is from Essence, and it's really inexpensive, too. It's like $3.99. I think so, yeah. And these are $15, so it's not drugstore price, like, at all. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these to compare them and kind of show you kind of the, the difference. difference and what... I just, I just want you all to know. <laughs> okay, so here are the Shop Miss A ones. These are them right there. Um... I will say that the Shop Miss A ones, they are a bit drier. Um, I think that the, they're, they're less glittery, like less shimmery. You can see that there's like, you know, a shine right there and right there that you don't really get with the Shop right. Miss A because they are so dry. And then this one is the Essence and yeah, it is gorgeous. So I'm going in with the shade Solar Eyes. And I'm going in with the Glitter Gold. And we're just going to kind of see how they do. I would try to do Nebula, but I have a couple errands to run after. Yeah, we're just going to see how they go on the eyes. Because um, it's the real test, honestly. Yes. They are pretty going on. Yeah. They have lots of shimmer. Alright, so the liquid eyeshadow is on. And it is super, super pretty. Super pretty. But it's thick. It and is kind of sticky. It, it took, took a long, a long time. time to dry down. Yeah, it did. Like I, it got to a point where I was like, okay, it's good, it's fine. And I opened my eye and I did the other one. And then whenever I closed this like eyelid or tried to like blink, it was like sticky. And I was like, yeah, what the heck is going on? So it did take a long time to dry down. Um, but it's dry it's now. And it is so pretty. It is really pretty. But it's like still super thick feeling. Like does it not like feel um, thick on I your eyelids? I don't know if I put mine on quite as thick as you did. I'm not used to liquid eyeshadow. And so, I mean, you use it all the yeah, time. Yeah, I do. Because I, I mean, I have a few different ones that I really love to wear. So I'm not the greatest like person judge. to, yeah, to judge that. Because I, I've only used liquid eyeshadow a couple of times since I got my eyeshadow to say. Um, well, I will say it is super pretty. I think that if you like any of these shades that like, yeah, go for it. Um, do I think that there's better out there? I do. If well, you're a big fan of Kinsey though. If you're a big fan of Kinsey, by all means, I mean, to me, everything is really pretty super pretty yeah the blush and the highlighter and the um the cup the all over shade and the transition shade for the eyeshadow those were great yeah the matte the mattes were a little bit good. patchy although they did blend out pretty well but it did take I'm, a little like, while i'm still just not happy with the crease at all and then the liquid lipstick or the lip and then the liquid eyeshadows were um, quite a bit thicker and took a while to dry. So, I mean, if you have a lot of t time to invest in getting ready in the mornings, then by all means, I would say this is great, especially if you love Kinsey. Um, the colors are all absolutely stunning. She like, did a good job with the colors. Really, really, really pretty. Um, I just don't have that much time in the mornings. I get up and get it done and out the door. So I'm not gonna wanna spend that much time trying to blend and dry. And yeah, I was like sitting on the longest time. All right, so we have one last thing to try out is the lip gloss in the shade Lolo. I'm gonna see how it works over a liquid lip. Ooh, that smells, that smells really good. Mmm, smells like cake batter or something. Smells nice. You can't really see the like the color, color yeah. of it. Uh, 
it just gives like a little bit of a, of a sheen. I'm gonna go ahead and let you try it Is out. Is it sticky I'll let you. I'll let you figure that out for yourself. All right, and I have no lip stuff on. Like no lipstick, no liquid lip. What do you think? It's got a nice shine. It doesn't do the... Mm -mm. Which I'm like kind of shocked. I was like, I know, I was to too. It. I was like, it's going to have the little like the slimy string. like lip it gloss doesn't. feel. Which we're so picky about lip glosses. Mm -hmm. And if they have that kind of... Yeah, I yucky, hate that. Stringy I hate that. Mess. There is nothing worse. Than this like does opening not opening your mouth and it's just like stringing like that is disgusting like yeah ugh. so so yeah like Kenzie that. yeah this smells yes. nice oh looks my gosh. nice um feels nice so I mean I think I recommend this it feels this. really really soft mm, it it, yes. uh, it feels really nourishing it smells so amazing all right so overall I'm gonna say this is pretty great products with the exception of just having to spend a little bit more time blending and letting your eyeshadow dry yeah. so but I mean I think we got pretty looks I think we did too. I think that look of eyeshadow on you that was makes what, my blue eyes pop a little bit it looks so so pretty I do really love that shade it is really really pretty gorgeous so if you have made it to this point in the video then go ahead and comment Lolo down below and we will be reading and commenting back um, but that is actually it for this video. All right, so we did mention a few of the Shop Miss A items that we really, really like. So we're gonna have a video right here where it's linked. You can go watch that and subscribe right down here. And until our next video, bye. bye.